everybody, this is me and today's video is probably one of my most requested which is a school morning routine and today I'm actually uploading two videos, one which is more like my normal style videos with a voiceover talking about what I'm doing and the second one is a little bit different, it's an ASMR version so it's got no voiceover, it's just the natural sounds of things like me brushing my hair and that kind of stuff as I thought it'd be quite interesting because it does sound like really relaxing but also horses are big gentle giants and I find it really relaxing being around them anyway so comment down below which one you prefer and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody, this is me and today's video is a school morning routine that was very requested but also this is actually my last ever year at school so I thought I'd make this video while I can. I'm actually going to be turning 18 this year and I'm currently studying biology, chemistry and geography at sixth form college so there's a lot I need to fit into having horses in my morning routine so it usually starts off quite early around six to half six really depending when I get woken up as the donkeys are sort of my natural alarm clock they wake me up every Every morning to get them their breakfast because they're hungry. <laughs> I'm actually quite a light sleeper so I usually wake up quite early anyway. I always drink a big glass of water because I get really dehydrated overnight then I'll just quickly pop on Instagram and then jump out of bed. I'll put my hair into a low ponytail and wash my face because I hate my face feeling greasy. Then I'll just dry it off and put on some horsey clothes. Here I've just got hoodie and leggings. Honestly I don't make my bed every morning. It really depends how early I wake up and how much time I have. Then I'll just brush my hair through and pop it up into a ponytail. I'll un do my blinds and then I'll unlock my door and step out of my loft and go down the steps because my room is actually like a little granny annex so my room's above the garage which is quite cool then I'll swap my sliders for my yard boots which are a bit more practical for going over to the horses in and then I'll walk up to them and of course I call the equines however they're usually standing by the feed room anyway I'm really fortunate that we're able to live in the countryside and own a little piece of land by our house that we keep the horses on so the walk to the horses is only a few meters from my bedroom which is really cool then I'll open the gate and there's always somebody waiting there today it was Bruno and obviously Casper has to be guarding the feed room once I've unlocked the feed room I then go in to make the horses breakfasts however Casper has a little party trick where he knows how to open the feed room door which is quite funny when making the feeds, I first put a bit of chaff into Mickey's bucket, Casper's bucket and then Willow's as well. Casper also gets some competition mix in his food as well as he's the only horse that is ridden on the yard. Bruno and Toby both have Molly Chaff Donkey as this is a special donkey chaff. However, Willow has a different type of chaff because she's fussy and doesn't like it for some reason and because Willow has medicine in her food, we have to be really careful that she eats all of her breakfast. So today I'm putting in some carrots for them. Willow absolutely loves carrots and by cutting them up it makes sure that the ecopalazone sticks to it so she eats all of her medication and she needs this because she's actually had arthritis her whole life so she's always been lame and this is just sort of like a horsey painkiller. And of course the rest of the donkeys and horses get some carrots as well as a little treat. Here I'm putting in one sachet of Willow's Equipalazone and I'm also giving Casper a little bit of vitamin supplements as well that I'm just trying for the time being. And then it's time to give the horses their breakfast. Casper gets his breakfast first every single morning because he's at the top of the pecking order and is the biggest. So once I've done that I'll just put the latch across so when he's finished he doesn't start eating anybody else's food. This morning I forgot to shut the door so Mickey very cheekily escaped into the feed room. However he didn't eat anything so then I gave Mickey his breakfast and again put the latch over afterwards because Mickey always finishes his breakfast first he is the quickest at eating <laughs> then I give the boy donkeys their food even though they eat the same food Bruno gets a little bit less and for some reason Toby went for his bucket so I was like no Toby this one's yours this one's Bruno's it wouldn't be the end of the world if they ate each other's food but Bruno just has a bit less because you know he's a little bit chubby at the moment so then I shut them in the donkey stable and last but not least we have Willow and she's usually the slowest to eat her breakfast so that's why we keep her on the yard away from the other horses just so she can take her time and then you can see the horses and donkeys really enjoying tucking into their breakfast. <laughs> This is definitely the horse's favourite part of the morning because they get food but also they are actually free range so they can go in their stables when they want to, they can go in the field when they want to so the majority of the day after this all they eat is grass so they find this very exciting. 
while all the horses and donkeys are happy and eating their breakfast and are no longer making a racket, braying and asking for food, I'll then walk back to the house, take off my boots and put on my sliders, wash my hands because after being with the horses they can usually get quite gross and then it's time to start making my breakfast. In the mornings I usually have toast because it's quick to make, easy to make and fuels me for the rest of the day. I don't usually have the time to make those fancy smoothie bowls like some people do in their morning routines so while my toast is in the toaster I'll usually make some juice. Today my toast was perfectly toasted, it wasn't too burnt but then it wasn't too undercooked either and today I decided to have some peanut butter with my toast and as you can see there wasn't that much left in the jar. <laughs> while I eat my breakfast I usually multitask so this can be replying to emails, watching YouTube or if I have a test on that particular day I'll probably look through my revision notes beforehand as well. In the mornings I always have a piece of fruit as well with my breakfast so today I had a very juicy apple and I always have a cup of coffee or mocha as well just to get me going and then once my breakfast is finished it's time to put my boots back on and go back over to the horses. On this particular morning, Mickey decided to have a little snooze after his breakfast, so he was lying down in his stable. So this morning, because I had a little bit of extra time, I just went and sat down next to him and had a little bit of a cuddle, as well as giving him the end of my apple core. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't lie down with Mickey all day, so it's time to get up and let all the horses and donkeys out of their stables. Here, Mickey was still a little bit sleepy and I was just giving him a scratch, but also he's still got a bit of breakfast on his teeth, which is quite funny. And here's Mickey looking very attractive while yawning and in true Mickey fashion giving me a little lick on my hand as well. However, before I let the horses and donkeys out of their stables, I like to collect up all of their feed buckets and wash out any of the food that's left in it. However, Mickey's bucket is usually perfectly clean because he licks all of the food out. Once I've washed the inside of the buckets, I always tip out the water and then it's time to wash the other side. Once I've washed the buckets and try not to get too wet in the process, I'll then collect them up and put them back in the feed room. After that, it's time to lock up the feed room and put the padlock on. And while I'm doing this, Willow's usually standing right next to me as well. Then I'll let all of the horses and donkeys out of their stables so they're free to go back in there if they want to or they can go out in the field. As our horses are free range, so they can roam around wherever they want to so they always have shelter and they can also have a little run around as well. When I let them out they usually have a little sniff around and see if they can find any scraps of food on the floor where somebody might have accidentally knocked over their bucket and then they go out in the field. Depending what time I wake up in the morning I usually fit in a little bit of time to do a quick skip of the horse's stables and just pick up a few poos however at the weekend when I've got a bit more time is when I usually poo pick the whole field. This time of year, as the horses aren't in during the night and the weather's really nice, the stables usually don't get that mucky anyway, so if I don't have that much time to muck out in the morning, I'll usually do it in the evening instead. In the middle of the yard, we have what I call the communal water bucket that any of the animals can drink out of. However, in the fields, they do have water troughs, but Casper is a little bit picky with his water, so every morning he gets a fresh bucket of water that he can drink out of. Once the equines are done and happy, it's then time to go onto the guinea pigs and during the night they stay in the little guinea pig shed, however during the day they go out in their grass run. So this guinea pig is called Vanilla, then we have Miranda, this is Scout, and then after that we have Holly. And Miranda is actually the mother of all of our guinea pigs and we actually adopted them. Then it's back to the sink and time to give the guinea pigs some fresh water as well. Then once all of the animals are done and happy, it's time to go back up to my loft and get ready for the day. So I first start by cleaning my teeth and having a shower. Then once I've got changed, it's time to put on a little bit of makeup, nothing too fancy just because it's college. Here I've put on some green primer just to reduce the redness in my skin and then I've got a little bit of concealer slash foundation in this little stick form and then I blend it in. But I am no beauty guru so uh, don't judge my makeup skills guys. <laughs> and then after that I'll just add a bit of powder to set my makeup and I usually leave it there. However today I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a this as me makeup tutorial. So here I'm adding some bronzer just to make myself look a little bit less pale and then some highlight as well to look fancy and then here I'm just using a lip pen which is pretty much the same color as my lips anyway as you can tell my makeup is very subtle and natural looking that's sort of my style then I just add a bit of spray and grab my boots and do up my laces 
As you finish secondary school at 16 in the UK, being at sixth form college, I've really been enjoying not having to wear uniform anymore. However, the only downside is picking what you wear in the morning. And then lastly, it's time to pack my bag. I know most people do this the night before. However, I just really hate doing it. So I usually do it last minute. But also with A-levels, you only do three or four subjects. So packing it is pretty easy because you usually use the same textbooks each day. And on this particular day, I had biology and chemistry. Then I'll pop on my jacket, grab my bag, and about eight o'clock is usually when I leave for college which starts at nine however some days depending on my timetable I won't have lessons until later on in the afternoon so I'll start private study at home at eight o'clock instead see you later, Casper. I'll see you after college bye once I've said goodbye to the equines that are usually standing by the fence anyway I'll then unlock my car and drive to college on days where I leave at 8, I usually bring my younger brother with me as well and he's actually in his last year of secondary school and I'm in my last year of college. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!